Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at the April subscription box from the folks over at Bo Candy. To get the full experience, step one, open box. Step two, post at hashtag BowCandy. Step three, enjoy. You could also swap step two with step three. You could enjoy first and then post at BowCandy. It's entirely up to you. This comes to us though from lovers of candy delivering to lovers of candy. I love candy like everybody else, except for maybe non-candy loving people, but really, who cares? Uh, Bo Candy is a monthly subscription box where they deliver assorted candies to your door every single month. Having said that, let's grab ourselves our knife. We got old red here. I'm gonna cut the tape and let's find out what's in this month's box of Bo Candy. We have a substantial, I got debris everywhere, I got a substantial haul of candy this month. First things first, we have mini. Takis, Takis Fuego, hot chili pepper and lime tortilla chips. <sighs> andale, andale. Let's open these up. Let's find out. Of course, I'm going to be trying these too. Oh, they look hot too. Oh, they look so hot. Guaranteed fresh. Yes, fresh is good. Okay, I like that. Follow us at Takis on Facebook and at Takis USA. T-A-K-I-S USA. Uh, some ingredients, made in Mexico, Mexico. Anyways, let's give these a try. This is hot chili pepper and lime, artificially flavored. Here we go, let's give it a try. Mmm. Woohoo! Andale, andale! The lime is good, the lime kind of breaks up. It kind of punches it in there with a little bit of citrus, but these are, whoo! These are hot. Mini Takis Fuego. Mmm. They're quite good, but boy, oh boy, are they ever hot. <sighs> ah. All right, let's find something sweet that we can try. We also have, uh, what is this? Nepi, ne, Napoleon? Oh, it's Napoleon. Ha 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 ha. Ah, spot. Wipe out the eyes, wipe out the eyes. Uh, it looks like some sort of candy. Wouldn't it be funny if everything I tried in this box was all hot. That's not bad, that's not bad. It's trying its hardest to break up. I got like red all over my fingers. It's doing its best to try to break up the flavor left over from this Techies Fuego. A nice sweet candy. Next we have Las Gran Sandias, which I guess works out to be watermelon. Watermelon candy. This is product of, what does it actually say it was made? It was made in Spain. Spain, uh, there's a luchador on the side. A little luchador bullfighter. All right, let's, uh, <clears throat> whew, still reeling from those tortillas. Let's hope the watermelon candy works to help cool that down a little bit. There's one of the candies, like a little slice of watermelon sprinkled with some stuff. Probably sugar, maybe sour. Not really sure. It says watermelon gummy candy. Doesn't actually say what's on it, but here we go. Give it a try. Flavor is good. It's not that weird. I know it's artificial. It's not that weird flavor of watermelon either. It tastes like natural watermelon. That's one thing I don't really like about Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Rancher watermelon, I don't know, it's sickly sweet for me. It just doesn't taste like watermelon. Moving along, we have, this is, well it says candy. And I can't, of course, make out what's on there. 
Um, just trying to see where it was made. Oh, Santa Springs, Santa Springs, California. That can't be right. I don't see anglaise anywhere on here. Anyways, let's get ourselves a little knifey. Try to break the seal here. It looks like little capsules of candy. I'm trying my best. Be careful, of course. Wielding. I shouldn't say even use the term wielding with a knife. Don't wield a knife like a careless idiot. If you feel like you can't handle a knife, give it to somebody that will handle it properly. We got a little pellet of candy. It could be aspirins for all I know. No, it's no, it's candy. Don't eat. Don't be eating this if this was aspirin. Well, whatever you do, oh, don't let Spot start giving you guys ideas like that. Let's give it a try. Candy of some denomination. They're giving us directions too. It says go into the mouth. Sounds good. Instructions. I'll do that. Let's give these a try. Not bad. It's kind of like the flavoring of a sweet tart. Have you ever had a sweet tart or a rocket? If you're in the UK, little rocket candies. It's about the same flavor. It's pretty good. It has completely extinguished that Takis Fuego that I just first had. Next, I guess the largest thing, we've also got a little a couple of things here, a little smaller Hopjis. Rademacher Hopjis. Ooh, it's coffee candies. Done. And lastly, we have a Lint Classic Bittersweet Chocolate with Chopped Hazelnuts. I like hazelnuts. I don't know if I... I like semi-sweet bitter chocolate. I don't like bitter chocolate. That says to me, you know what? I like to enjoy my chocolate. If I have to stop and go, oh, this is so bitter. Oh, it's so strong. See, look how dark that is. It should be semi-sweet. Help me out here, people. There it is right there. There's some little hazelnuts inside. Yeah, the chocolate is just too bitter. Yeah. <laughs> if it was semi-sweet, semi-sweet and hazelnuts, brother, I would be there. I would be there in a heartbeat. These, eh, not really feeling it when it comes to bittersweet chocolate. And then we got a little other couple of candies there as well. And we got some packing material that kind of just keeps everything safe, keeps the candies protected until they come to your door. To go over what we've just looked at, we had Los Grandos Sandies Watermelon gum, Gummy Candy. Yes, I know, Spot. And didn't pronounce it correctly. Some candies that I don't know where they're, they're from. I still am perusing it. All I can see is Santa Fe, California, but I don't understand why it's a different language on the top there. Unless they're just packaged here. I'm not sure. Got those. And then some of the hottest chips I think I've ever had. Mini Takis Fuego. Andale, andale. If you guys would like to have all this delivered to your door every single month, you can click the link down below and subscribe to Bow Candy. Although, truthfully, I don't know if this would really be considered candy, but you get a pretty good haul every single month. Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at April's subscription box from the folks over at Bow Candy. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more subscription spots heading your way. Thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you guys next time.